Um, listen, big elephant in the room, Novak Djokovic has the chance to complete the calendar Grand Slam. Okay? He well, choked up during the you know, calendar Golden Slam. So he's not gonna match he didn't match Steffi Graf, but he still has a chance to make history. And actually I was looking at his the draw. Let's look at the draw. Let's look at let's look at the draw yeah. and see who he's got. I was looking at the draw just to kind of see and this is just one path, but I'm guessing this is kind of uh, let me pull it up here. Alright. So he's playing some qualifier first round, so I think that should be a uh, 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 yeah, a rollover round. Second round, he's playing. Uh, he could play Struff, who he's six and zero against. Which is. Or he yeah. can play uh, uh, Grispoor, who's like uh, from from the Netherlands. He's never played before. Okay, but Ever. let's be honest, mate. Walk in the park. Yeah. Either. either I'm one. just saying. I'm just saying. No previous history. Right? Okay. Like, third round, he could play uh, Nishikori, Goffin, or Mackey. I think easy. Fourth round, Diminoir, Karatsev, Karatsev. Is uh, he's got to pull through. <laughs> the Cods have listen beat him in Belgrade, okay? Yeah, so I mean, if he embarrasses you on home soil, I don't know, I don't know. it could be, but if basically, if you, yeah, listen at the end of the day, all right, there's three grand, previous Grand Slam champions in the draw, okay? But two of them don't even count. I'm sorry, yeah, two Chilich, of them don't even count. Chilich I'm sorry, but Chilich, and Murray. Murray's, Murray's like first 70 round. years old, yeah. I mean, <laughs> no, but Murray is like. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, even though he's an absolute legend yeah. and, and, I mean, deserves all the respect and, and who, who knows, like, honestly, who knows when you're, when you've accomplished so much as a tennis player, mm -hmm. right? You can't, you can't deny, like, what he's done, but, like, you can't have such a, you know, insane shift in, or such an insane uh, s step back, right, or, 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 you know, setback, I guess, and, uh, and then come back, and the age, like, it's just, it's tough, so it's like, Murray doesn't count, and then Chilich, like, it's Chilich, <laughs> you know? like, not to discredit Chilich in any way, of course, the Grand Slam champion, like, amazing as well, but he's also old, and he's also, like, you know, I mean, he, what's he done recently that has really stood, he had a good grass season, I think, right. he had a good grass season, so, that's about it. So, who's gonna, who can stop Djokovic? I mean, I think there are only two names that come to mind, right? Medvedev and Zverev. Yeah, I, I mean, agree. based on Zverev, Zverev stopped him in Olympics, so that was huge. Um, and also, like, these two guys, I, so I heard, I actually had a friend, a family friend who went to, um, who went to qualifying, mm -hmm. and he, he, he mentioned that Zverev, or that uh, Medvedev didn't look too good, like, in terms of, like, he just looked tired, he looked a bit tired, he looked like he was, he wasn't handling the heat so well. Um, so it's interesting, and I, I read a thing about Medvedev as well. It's like he just had two weeks, right? Where he played, he played Cincinnati, he played um, Toronto, I believe, right? You know, he in those two weeks, and he was playing before, I believe, as well, uh, or maybe cameras, huh? Right into cameras, yeah, playing video games. But, yeah, exactly, just playing video games. But he uh, he played out of from out of fourteen days, he played eleven matches, eleven. Like, so 11 days he played a match, mm -hmm. right? 11 matches in 14 days. Nine of those matches were top 50 players. Wow. Nine. So you're talking about, like, his last few weeks have been really intense because mm -hmm. he's been winning. Yeah, right. He's been killing it, but, like, it takes a toll, right? So it's, like, it's going to be interesting to see. And he's got the camera thing, and he's got, you know. Yeah. Which, uh, for, those, for those of you who don't know, um, in the Cincinnati Open, he was playing... You know where Medvedev was playing it was semifinals, right against Rublev. He was, uh, he essentially the the way they set up the courts there is they they put the cameras on the court, which I don't know who thought that was a good idea. Mm. But Giant Medvedev too. standing, Medvedev standing, you know, ten meters behind the baseline. Like every other like, player. Like yeah, yeah. No, but like literally, like now that the players are basically at the wall, they could be in the stands at this point. Yeah. <laughs> they could be like you know. So it's like yeah, they're guys like team and adult. They're they're, they're really at returning stand, at the yeah, wall. Yeah, they're at the wall. So it's right. like, um, so he ran into the camera, hurt his hand. He was saying he was complaining that he almost broke his hand. Blah blah blah. Like you know, mm. um, so he, but he looked. Apparently he looks tired. I don't know. So we'll see. It will be interesting to see how Medvedev performs. Zverev, on the other hand, holy moly. Yeah. I mean, talk about. I mean, going. Freaking beast mode. Like, you know what? It it, it it reminds me of Andy Murray winning uh, winning the Olympics and kind of changing his whole career. 
right? Yeah. Especially when it came to like, oh, can you win a Wimbledon? You know, that huge level of confidence that came from after taking gold. Maybe we see something like that happen as Zverev, right? Maybe. Oh, this is my basically my point, which is like these young guys coming up, Tsitsipas, Zverev, Medvedev, all these guys that are right there that have, that have tasted. Like you mentioned, Medvedev uh, lost the finals to Nadal at the US Open. Yeah. Uh, we had Zverev last year against uh, a team. team. Yeah. So all these guys that have been there have been are so but close, this so is... close to winning Grand Slam. Now is the time to step up. But can I just say though, like. Look, Zverev is an absolute beast. If you talk about like, if you even I know I I, I tweeted about this and I was mm-hmm. I was I, t- I spoke with you about this as well. If you just watch the pace of his rally ball right now, it's incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. It is he's hitting guys off the court in a rally without even hitting win- like he's not going for winners. He's just he's just, just big. he's just powerful. Just now. Big, he's right. just hitting really big. Yeah, and but the, here's the issue, right? The issue is that like, okay, sick. Like he can hit big, right? That's amazing. But what happened against team in that final? Serving for the match. It's the, it's the what, did you question. see that tennis? Yeah. It was completely under 12's tennis. tennis. Yeah, completely different. Tennis. You're talking about like 80 mile an hour first serves. Yeah. You don't see that in top t- top 10, top five level. T- I mean, they were top five, right? At the time. Yeah. Both of them. So it's just like, you don't see that. Um, and it's, it's just like when you see something like that happen, right? And even like Cincinnati Open, mm-hmm. he's playing Rublev. He won the first set six two, up in the second set five two or five one, maybe five one five two. I forget. On serve, loses that game, loses the service game. And it's just like you watch that and you're like, how you know? Yeah, obviously you're saying mentally right now you have a lot more belief. You just won the Olympics, which is huge. I mean, granted, he did beat Djokovic. Like, that's pretty insane. Um, so I, I don't want to discredit him too much with the whole, like, you know, the, past, the U.S. Opens in the past obviously happened before the Olympics and all that. But I just think that, like, if there's that pressure there, like, Zverev is not someone who's backed it up. You know, he's not someone who's been, like, just, like, put his foot down and it just didn't budge. He's someone who, like, breaks down where his weaknesses really shine through when, he, when he's under that pressure. And that's the only thing I'm worried about. And you know what? To be honest, though, also I don't want Zverev to win. I really don't. Really? No, I do not. I don't think he. Who do you want to win? <sighs> well, you said. I mean, it's only it's I mean, between Zverev and Medvedev, right? You said like that's Well, I want Medvedev to win. to win. If I could choose anyone to win, I want Medvedev to win. I think Medvedev. I would love for him to win. I know you don't. No. No. <laughs> God, I the, the I would rather Djokovic win than Medvedev. And Tsitsipas. Oh, sorry, I'd rather Djokovic win than Tsitsipas and Zverev. Oh, 